What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I am not having a good day, honestly. And I forgot my camera. I'm using my phone now. Uh, we're supposed to leave tomorrow to go to Tail of the Dragon down there for a few days. Supposed to take my Bart. Well, I lifted it up a few hours ago to check everything underneath and I found um, leaky boots grease coming out. I replaced the clamp on one uh, and uh, I was doing the other driver's side. Uh, it's, a, it's a pain in the butt to do it without removing a lot of parts and uh, trying to take some shortcuts. Well, got the axle out and there's a tripod. The actual cup stays in the transmission. The tripod and the boot stays on the axle. Pull that out. What do you know? Uh, that tripod, that one of the, the, the bearings came off. Lost one of the needles inside the retaining ring. Uh, got bent. So yeah we don't have a dealership here fiat dealership nearby there i don't even know where one is so jumped on uh o'reilly's website supposedly they have one went to the local store good thing about des moines des moines has a warehouse o'reilly's distribution center is here so it's the right one because i heard people complaining about uh, axles from out of parts don't fit right it says it's for a BART but it's actually not so I'm hoping it is if it's not I'm screwed uh, my Yugo is down too as well I'm replacing uh, boots as well on that one uh, I got some OEM NAS not old stock that I put on and they all cracked start leaking so that's down too so if I don't fix this I don't know what I'm gonna take. It's got back. No luck with O'Reilly. Fortunately, they don't have that. Even their distribution center, warehouse said they have one, but they'll have one first thing in the morning from Kansas City. So I'm hoping it'll fit. But yeah, that's what I get for waiting last day to do some repair. Yeah, my um, CV boot was leaking grease even though it's new clamp new boot but i guess that clamp just wasn't tight enough and i went in there since it's it's such a pain in the butt just to get to that clamp uh, i was trying to do some shortcuts so i don't have to do all this well that bit me in the butt so i'm missing one of these needle bearings on this tripod not sure how that came loose if this retaining ring is bad why not so i'm hoping that the axle i get from o'reilly that the tripod fits this axle i don't care about the axle i just need the tripod uh, hoping they'll fit if that doesn't fit then I'm screwed hopefully what i get tomorrow at least the tripod will be good so i can fix this thing because i've been waiting a whole year for this tail of the dragon thing and now stupid tripod so if i if that doesn't fit tomorrow morning i'm just gonna get on a websites and forums and see if anybody in the midwest has one if they do i'm just gonna i'm willing to drive 10 hours to go get it because i am not missing this tail of the dragon this year so hopefully good morning welcome back day two uh, we're heading down to uh, O'Reilly uh, warehouse to pick up Axel. Just called him, showed up. So hoping that he does fit. At least the tripod bearing fits. If it does, I'm just using that. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious to see because everybody's saying that these axles, aftermarket axles, for some reason don't fit. Uh, the measurements were off for something. So I'm going to see if they fit or not. Uh, it's a little bit pricey actually it's a hundred and uh, hundred and forty two dollars for an axle 
it's actually just the tripod on one end and you have one joint on the other end that's it so a little bit pricey if you ask me but curious to find out i managed to find all my needles for my bearing uh if this doesn't work i'm just using it put it in uh, i'm driving this car down to tail of the dragon no matter what so that's it all right let's go down there and check it out and see what happens as suspected out of parts axle is no good here's what i'm talking about ah, okay so this is the axle i just got this is my tripod and the size is just look at the size doesn't fit the boot is completely different than uh, the one i need my old one is way bigger than theirs so yeah that's what everybody kind of told me about it i mean not told me but uh, all the reviews i've read why not so i'm hoping mine stays in place uh it doesn't pop off if it does i'm screwed so i'm hoping it stays in place because that's the only option i got so i'm gonna put this back on on the car and just hope it stays in place uh <laughs> even thought about back welding it but that's not a good idea just hoping this ring here stays in place and not come off you guys remember this guy last time he was here <laughs> we broke a windshield so now we're trying to fix my tripod for my axle because the o'reilly one is no bueno all right don't do this at home we're just trying to uh get these collars to stay in place otherwise i think that's the right one man okay here boy just go be careful not too much okay watch your finger go go tap tap mm -hmm. come on nice mm -hmm. the d-day which means Today's the day when we're leaving. Got the Abart all fixed up using my old original tripod. So far it's been driving good. I beat the heck out of it. No signs of breaking down yet. So that's good. Um, fueled it up, washed a little bit. Got all my stickers here. Mine, friends. Uh, my sponsors this year thank you guys some of them are from the last year as well got some new ones so I'm gonna go take a nap actually and uh, <clears throat> we're leaving tonight at 9 o'clock central p.m. what's up guys man you broke <laughs> <It broke. laughs> Stop by to get some fuel. We got uh, uh, eight more hours to go to Louisville, Kentucky. So stop by to get some fuel. Bathroom break. Guys, you got food. <laughs> I got the work. I got the work. <laughs> oh, but not too bad. I got nine gallons, you got 12. So you, want some, you want some burr? <laughs> Here, man, this for you. Look at this. Ooh, Dude, it's, it's too warm, bro. Mm. It's not good. Can't be bothered and not like burr. Mm -mm. Not happening. So, 10, 11, 12, three gallons more than me. Not bad considering 3.2 versus 1.4 liter. I'm running so rich. I'm running so rich, man. Oh, like I, I gotta get it tuned. I just slapped a lot of parts on. I'm running so rich. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I am. Does this thing work when I step on it? No. Mm. I know. Yeah, I know. The right side is a little bit lower. I know. Well, it's good though. It's good though. It's good though. 
We got what? Three more hours to go? Did you call Emco? What do you say? Oh my god. Dropped off my dad. Family's place. Uh, meeting up with the boys at the gas station. Filling up. And uh, we're. We got seven more hours to go. So. Yeah. Not looking forward another seven hours, but it is what it is. <laughs> it had a light come on driving the yellow triangle. Scared the heck out of me, says engine oil change needed or something like that. So when I did the work, and when I worked on the car, I forgot to reset the oil for the oil change, so that's why that light is on. What's up, guys? in time so
go, let's go back. Let's go back. But that's not paved. paved road this guy told us about this unpaved road but they said it's just a little bit of gravel no I don't like this what in the world is this Uh, not to yourself, don't follow my cousin ever. Uh, he's gonna get us lost. This does not look low car friendly. Hey man, we could fish, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, take that picture, boy. Take that picture. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I'll take some of these nuts. Not your nuts. <laughs> you little. <laughs> kind of you want some of my nuts? Yeah, I Uh-huh. Now we gotta back up for a mile. And go wash the cars again. Off-roading with the Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> 